Uh, question five. So it's asking us, what is the additive inverse of the uh, polynomial? And they give us that, right? So our additive inverse of negative 9xy squared plus 6xy squared minus 5x cubed. So they're asking us, what is the additive inverse of this polynomial function? So I'm going to give you, again, a minute to think about this problem, and then we're going to take it up. Let's do that. A minute to think about this problem. We'll take it up. You can also look at how I kind of look at the, the solution they provided. And you can kind of see, uh, you can see, you can kind of guess for yourself or know for yourself, is this solution correct or incorrect? So let's do that. I'll give you about 30 seconds to look at this problem. And I do have to move forward. So maybe 30 seconds to move this to look at this problem and then we'll move forward. So the additive inverse of uh, negative 9xy squared plus 6x squared y minus 5x cubed. Let me define a couple of things. When we talk about additive inverse, so the additive inverse is simply just setting it to zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move all the variables to the other side. So when I say additive inverse, so let's say, uh, uh, let's say here, um, additive inverse of y. So if I say, what is the, or sorry, what is the additive inverse of x? And when we say well, additive inverse of x, I would have to set this, uh, set our, set x to zero. So x equals zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it to the other side. So if we're going to move this to the other side. So it would get, I would get here, this would be, so zero equals, and then if I have plus x on my, one side, I would have minus x on the other side, right? So negative x here is our answer. So negative x is the additive is the additive inverse inverse of x, which makes sense, right? Because x plus minus x equals zero, right? X minus x equals zero. So with that logic, what I can do is I can actually solve this problem here. So I would just set this problem to zero. So negative nine x y squared plus six x squared y. Uh, minus 5x cubed equals 0. I'm going to set this to 0, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything to the other side. So let's do that. Let me move everything to the other side. So <clears throat> if I have negative 9xy uh, squared, I'm going to have to, I'm going to do the opposite operation and then do, uh, do, do plus 9xy squared to both sides, right? So if I do that, I would get, um, this, uh, this side would cancel out, so I would get 6x squared y minus 5x cubed. And this said I'm doing the opposite, opposite operation of this, right? So this would be plus 9xy squared. Or I, I, I can leave the plus here, but this is 9xy squared. Perfect. Next, what I'm doing, I'm going to do from, I'm doing from left to right, right? So again, uh, 6x squared y, the opposite of uh, addition is subtraction, so I would subtract both sides by 6x squared y. The left side here becomes simply just negative 5x cubed. I would have 9xy squared minus 6x squared y. And then finally, I have negative 5x cubed here. I mean, I'm going to have to do the opposite operation, which is plus, right? So I'm adding both sides by plus 5x cubed. In this case, I'm left here with 0, which is negative, uh, no, this is positive, sorry. This is 9x squared y minus 6x squared y plus, because I'm adding both sides by 5x cubed, plus 5x cubed. And that's going to be our additive inverse of this polynomial. So let's check our answer. 9x squared y minus, minus 6x squared y plus 5x cubed. My solution matches this one. I like this one, but they didn't really break it down into... They did zero minus minus, which is also a valid answer here. Um, and they did zero minus, and then they put a bracket between the entire polynomial. So this works as well because they're subtracting the entire polynomial. I, I, I chose to break it down in steps. They did kind of one step together. Perfectly fine. This is a great solution. And this is a great, perfect solution. Great step by step. Just going to jump with numbers. Perfect. Solution's correct. Thank you.